One of the keys is our city looks dirty. And, I mean, it, it's filthy. And it, that needs to change. And Austin's new budget proposal calls for a half billion dollars in new taxes and fees for people who live in the capital city. Funding to help the homeless, public safety and infrastructure will all see boosts. Now, KXAN's Tom Miller sat down with Austin Mayor Kirk Watson to go over what's in it and what it will cost you. I think all in, it's going to be about an additional $95 worth of taxes and fees annually uh, for a household. Will people see those services work better as a result of that? Oh, I think so. I'll give you an example. Well, there's a lot of money going into creating a better resilience at Austin Energy when you have times of disaster. So whether we have, you know, God forbid, a wildfire or we have another winter storm. Uh, even part of that is a, a million dollars to study uh, whether we ought to or how we would go about if we want to taking the overhead lines and putting them underground. Uh, in addition, one of the things that would make government work better and we're trying to fix is we discovered that uh, there weren't generators at all of the places we, ought to, we felt like we ought to have generators when the lights go out. Uh, like in that winter storm, uh, including at fire stations. Uh, that was something we had inherited. Well, this budget allows for some things like that. I want to talk about homelessness. Yeah. The Ending Community Homelessness Coalition estimates that there's about 4,500 people who are homeless on any given night in Austin. Does this budget look at homelessness, and, and does it help get to a solution? Yeah, in fact, this budget goes uh, quite a bit further on homelessness. Um, one of the things that I feel like uh, we inherited when it came to the issue of homelessness was that uh, there had been a kind of an all or nothing approach to it, which was permanent supportive housing. And while we need more permanent supportive housing, what this budget will do is it will make a difference on the entire continuum related to homelessness, including money that is in there for homeless prevention. One of the problems with enforcing the camping ban is if you go and move a group of people here and there's no place for them to go, they end up just going over here and then you're moving them here. So instead of doing that, we're putting money into uh, what are being called emergency shelter beds, but they're essentially non-congregate shelter so that we'll be able to do that. In addition, um, there, there's a, quite a bit of money that goes into uh, consolidating the way we currently deal with uh, uh, trash and, and, and how we go about cleaning up uh, encampments and things of that nature. Well, one of the keys is our city looks dirty. And I mean, it, it's filthy and it, that needs to change. Is there going to be enough money to the police department where the staffing levels can get back to what you need them to be? We are going to be doing the kinds of things we need to do to incentivize uh, more police officers to come into the system and to incentivize officers to not leave the force. This council has already taken action on that and in, in terms of uh, just in the past few months guaranteeing salaries, even in the absence of a police contract, guaranteeing salaries and guaranteeing uh, retirement benefits. But in addition to that, the council voted a 4% pay raise for the, uh, all the police officers. 